Hi, I'm Hendrik and welcome to How Does It Taste? Today I'm not boiling any water because I'm going to try the Amber Night Super Meal snack portion. Let's get started! So I have tested the original Amber Night last year and it was a mixed result. I wasn't super excited about it. But on the other hand, now they got uh, snack portions which are smaller, which you use with 200 milliliters of water and they come in new tastes. So this here is berries, you also can get ginger and apple and banana. And I think all these three tastes are sounding really good and I'm very excited to actually really try these. So the beauty about Embernite is that you don't need to have a stove to boil water. All you need is a bottle. If you order Embernite the first time, you usually get this shaker included, but you could just as well use a white mouth uh, Nalgene and I just say white mouth because you want to be able to later rinse and clean the bottle so that none of the uh, super meal stays in a bottle and yeah it's in there forever so uh, a white mouth bottle is recommended either take this one which is fairly light or take an algene or whatever you have at home to mix these don't try to do this in a platypus I think it's going to be very messy and you can forget your platypus after that because you don't need to have a stove to prepare your ember night, it is really ideal as a snack. Maybe during the day, or with breakfast, or even in the evening as a dessert. So it really doesn't take anything more than 200 milliliters of water, which is usually outdoors. Really easy to get by. It's the most simple ingredient, you don't need to carry it. And these pouches over here are also really light. I'm going to test tea berries ember night today, because yeah. I'm from the Nord and I like berries. But you need your super meal snack size and you need to have the bottle with 200 milliliters of water. Then just rip open the back. Then pour the Ember Night in. Close the shaker and then start shaking. Alright, I've shaken my Ember Night. Time to try it and answer the question, how does it taste? This is actually quite good. So if you've seen my other Ember Night videos, click there. Uh, you might have seen that I wasn't super into them at the end, but I've used them wrong. So this is a whole different story. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Uh, there's only a hint of berries in there, I find. You can taste the bill berries just very faintly. I'm used to very strong tastes of the berries because we pick them uh, in the forest close by. So this is a bit uh, different. Yeah, no, I do think it is actually good. Um, as it is only 39 grams and you only need water for it, but it still packs quite a good amount of uh, calories. And most importantly, all these kind of vitamins and substances, which you usually don't get from your ready-made meals that we've been testing before over here in this series. So this could be a very nice uh, addition to breakfast or as a snack in the evening. Done. I guess that means it's good. Well, I do think it's uh, something to try out if you like it. The taste is still a little bit of like you have the feeling it's not, yeah, not like a smoothie you're maybe used to. But I think for taking it outdoors into nature, going climbing or backpacking, or just maybe even at work as a snack in between, this could work quite well because it has a lot of ingredients that helps your body and mind to perform better. So. It could be something that is very useful to at least try out and see if you like it and if it is something that you want to take into your backpacking diet. I hope you found this episode of How Does It Taste interesting and fun. If you did, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for the next episode, How Does It Taste. Bye!